What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the Blackpool FC career mode in FIFA 23. So I just got to say a big thank you to anyone who's still watching the series. I don't know how many people at this point are still watching it. But I appreciate every single one of you guys who keep coming back every single episode. And if you, you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Because it does just show me how much you guys are loving the series and the channel. There'll be so much more career mode stuff coming in the future. And more FIFA content and other videos. So make sure you are staying tuned with and staying ahead with everything. So go follow me on all my social media in the description. But anyway, let's get back on to the series. So as I said in the last episode, we have changed it up. How we're going to be playing. Like how basically these episodes are going to be coming out. Basically I'm going to be doing like a couple of months each episode. The games are going to be a bit more condensed. More like just goal highlights and stuff like that. And the big, big moments. Not, maybe like the finals and stuff. Like, you know, basically any kind of finals. Any big, big games where like it's defining a title. That's when I'll give more time to them games. Uh, other games will sort of fly through them. Like last episode we got through a couple months. And probably this episode I do want to get through to January. So we'll see how we go in that. But we have got Brighton straight up. I'll be honest, I'm going to simulate this one. Just going to start off with a simulation here. Because uh, we've got some big, big games coming up. Um, so I want to give more time. We do win this one. Yates, Scott. Yates gets a brace. I've got to say, Yates is just... I'm so shocked at how Yates has been so good this series, honestly. Um, but we move. This game against Vicente, I'm going to simulate again. Um, I'll simulate with my best team out here. Because I do want to get the win. Because if we get the win here... That's us virtually through to the next round of Europa League. So, come on, guys. Best team out there. We are at home. Come on. Get the job done. Yes, we do. Bano Gittens gets a... Bano Gittens gets a hat-trick, by the way. And Yates gets another one. What a what a season them two are having. This is could be a career-defining season for these, for these uh, footballers. But that is all basically done for Europa League. Probably for the remaining two games, I'll probably just play my second team. Uh, focus mainly on the on the um, Premier League. Uh, obviously, we're not in the Carabao Cup anymore. So, uh, we've got Everton, who are only got on four, four points. That is insane. Um, oh, they've actually got a not a bad side. Uh, the team's quite tired. I'm going to simulate this one as well. I don't particularly want to, but the team's quite tired. It's 2-2. Two -two. Ah, okay. Yates does the save, to be fair. Yates again. He's got a brace. Oh, my God. What I will do is, probably at the end of this episode, we'll do like a bit of a stat. Um, a look into the stats for halfway through the season. Because I swear, my attack is just doing the job for us right now. We really are. So at Bloomfield Road, we have welcoming West Ham United. Let's get into this first game we're going to play of the episode. This could be massive because we are really on a hell of a run right now. With just the team is played so nicely and growing really nice as well. Like Yates has already got up by two overalls this season already. This could be like a such a breakout season for his team. Angel Gomez trying to tackle him as well he's just um, can't quite get to him so I a good bit of play there just to get it away Jerry Yates through to Angel Gomez he's going to play his back and look at that he sees Bano Gittens and Bano Gittens could go for it that is easy as you like Bano Gittens who's just been on fire this season alongside Jerry Yates Angel Gomez, who has that vision to put that football through the middle. Come back and just simple as you like it. We could have maybe squared it, but why it's complicated? Just go for goal. He's got the quality. He's got his seventh goal of the season in the Premier League. Unreal season for Bano getting so far. Look to Corne again. Corne taking on. That's. Banana tried to do his best, but he just, unfortunately, he had to give away the foul. Raya sees the run of Banana, and Banana loses it to Faze. 
Oh, and Rhea, thank God, was aware of that. That kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, Easy H on side here. No, he's not. I thought he was. How much was he offside here? I tried to get it through quicker. Ah, his, his whole body was offside. Not by much, but he was offside. Breakaway trying to cut down Correa. Now Jean Mario up against Reed. He beats Reed. But that Mark Way is there to stop him. Reed trying to put the hoop up to Brian O'Kittens. He can't quite win the tussle with Fayez. Mark Way again stopping Correa. Reed over to Angel Gomez. This could be an opportunity here. Angel Gomez! Robert Sanchez again denying Angel. Brian O'Kittens with the corner right at the end of his half. And he's on! Mark Way again! He popped up with another goal! This is insane! Mark Way is a cheat code from corners. He is a cheat code. We have absolutely been on top of West Ham this entire match. They've had a couple of opportunities to counter, but that's it. Mark Way has been left on his own by the defence. Bayes is nowhere to be seen. And Mark Gay, you, he has such a great head in accuracy and such power. I feel sorry for Sanchez for the amount of saves he's made. But we have 2 0 at half time. Let's go! Start the second half. Let's see if we can keep up the energy as we did in the first, because we really dominated that first half. to Matt Gay. I'm going to do Anana. Oh, that is brilliant. And now Wilfred Singo. He's just going to go for it. There was no one to bring it back to, but Wilfred Singo didn't need them. The right back comes up with a very rare goal. But again, what is West Ham doing without the fence? That is such a bad piece of defending. Edwards with a great little layoff, and then Singo was looking for uh, someone to play it to. No one really wanted it, so why not just go for it? Sanchez just could not get to that. Again, feel sorry for him with the amount of saves he made in that first half, but we have got to be lethal. Singo does brilliantly. Absolutely fantastic stuff from the right back. Edwards just speeding away. Angel Gomez! <laughs> oh, yes, let's go. Edwards just turning on the style there. And Angel Gomez there just to tap it in into an empty net. Just awful, awful defending here again from West Ham United. But I will take that every day of the week. Good stuff now, Joe Bellingham. That's brilliant stuff there. Ah, Lawrence Gable just couldn't keep the ball. Oh my god, what a finish! My Christ, for Quetta. I'm guessing that's for Quetta. Looks like, yeah, it is. My god, what a finish! Look at that, just a ball outside the of everyone and then it's just a cut back and then it's a hell of a finish you can't deny it we've took our foot off the, the gas a little bit and it's, I've, I've took a couple of my best players off just to give them a bit of a rest but we just um, struggled to contain them in the last the 10 minutes or so That's great. Marcus Edwards. He's going to go for a corner. No, he's not. He's going to go for a goal kick. What? Okay. Don't know how that happened, but not real fussed. Come on, ref. Just put, get him out of the misery. 4-1. We did take our foot off the pedal a little bit in that second half. Only the one goal. But you know what? Does not matter at all. We get the two goals in either half. And we did easily dispatch of West Ham United. So as I said, we're pretty much 
home and dry in this in this group. So I'm gonna leave it to my second team. These last two games, never know. We're gonna do something in them. I think even if we get a draw, we should top it. There we go. Uh, Battle Gittens comes on. Branco, one of my young players, Kai George. I don't actually know if he scored yet. You know, I actually don't know. But he's, he missed the penalty in the opening two minutes, and that could have possibly been a winner. But um, Branco, one of my young players, actually gets uh, on the score sheet. So fair play to him. Uh, we've got this game against Watford, but again, I'm not really interested in playing this one, so I'm going to see where these guys are. We've got four points. And we get a winner. Edwards, come on, they missed a penalty. So again, you have to be careful that they did get a penalty and we could have lost it, but no, we're, we kept it and we did a good job. Well done, lads. So we are in December now, but this is a packed month of football. And to be honest, this next game I'm going to play because this is one of the bigger games because we're right next to Spurs. They're actually a point behind us. So if we can get a win here, this could honestly create a bit of separation between us. We've got a game to play on Manchester City. So if we win this, we go above them. And we go on to 30 points next to Liverpool. But obviously they are on 13 games as well. So this could be massive. We're not quite halfway through the season yet. But we will be getting to uh, January in this episode. So let's play this one. This will be one of the games we play. So the big story is that we are starting to fight with some of them big clubs right now, including Spurs, including City. We are taking that spot. I'm not saying we're as good as them, nowhere near, I don't think. But what I will say is that we are, we just feel like a different animal this season. Jerry Yates is just a different animal altogether. The defence is so much better. I feel like our recruitment in the last couple of years has been spot on. I think we've done what we had to with the money we had. And I think that all has to come down to the Tyler Rogers deal. But it all changed at that point. And you look at this team now, we've had been able to do that because of that deal. You're thinking Wilfred Singo, Gway, uh, Kamavinga. All of them players would not be here right now if it wasn't for that deal. And obviously, the change I've made for this game is Scott and Nicholas come in for Onana and Edwards just for this game. But the other story is, Harry Kane and Jerry Yates both going for the golden boot. Um, I think Gates was just a bit behind. I think he was second or third place in the golden boot last season. And he is going for that record. So looking at their team, uh, interesting. It's actually not that different to what we've got in real life. Jude Bellingham's there, though. That's an interesting one. We've got his brother on the bench. And Kane is there, obviously going for the golden boot himself. Ferran Torres and Gonzalez. Alex and Maximum, Paul Pogba on the bench. Udoki, we've actually been we were looking at um, earlier in the series, but uh, we went with Singo instead. But here we go, guys. This is a big, big game. You can, you can just feel that like this is a big game. If we can get a win here, it will be massive. Torres just somehow sped past Singo and he's managed to pick out Kane who's whacked it against Braithwaite thank god I don't like this this is exactly how the last game started and we got a corner and Kane just whacked one in oh oh done very well there but it gets it is that on I just didn't see the one come up. I thought, is it going to be offside? No, it's not. Scott with an interception. Two Yates and Yates to final Gittens. That is a quick start from us. Putting on the pressure. Look at that. We put on the pressure on the defender. And he made the mistake. And that is not a bad finish by Bino Gittens on the run. Against Pickford. Interesting that he's the goalkeeper there these days. Um, but I'm, I'm shocked at that. Honestly, it's us who made a quick start this time. It was, it's been Spurs. They have actually battered us nearly every single game we've played against them. Let's hopefully make sure that does not happen today. Ah, Singo does dig out the cross, but right into Pickford's arms.
Right to read that from Pickford. Oh, Joey Yates somehow digs out. Uh, somehow digs out a bloody shot from that, and he pulls out a great save from Pickford. Now said Maxman coming on for Gonzalez, who's not had a good game. Angel Gomez is going to come off for Joe Bellingham. Going to give him a game. Jab Braithwaite! That has to be a goal. That has to be a goal by Braithwaite. That could have settled it. Oh, Rayan this time has to deal, deal with it. My God, thank God he did. Got to bring on Nano on a little bit more a defensive minded. Scott's done a really good job in that midfield, I've got to say. What an operator is bid. Joe Bellingham just who fell away. Good line and what a pick out. He started in a counter attack here. Now Bano Gittens trying to go on the outside. Back brilliant at the time. And now Manu on He's only going to do it against one of his former teammates in the Pickford. He's only just come on the pitch. He's got himself up the field and scored a crucial goal in our season. No idea how important this pitch is going to be, but it feels so significant. What a finish as well. We've not been able to beat Pickford since that first goal. We needed that. Great stuff as well. I've got to say, Joe Bellingham won the ball back from that corner and just set us off on that with that ball to Jerry Yates. Great stuff from the young man. Oh, well, it's Gable. He's got a lot of space on this right hand side. Bellingham! He sliced it. It's not going to matter, but Bellingham is still looking for that goal with his. But well in, boys. Another big dub. Let's go! So that will go very nicely, that victory. And right now we are sitting third place. It's unbelievable to think that we are actually in a title race. I mean, we got Liverpool, who have not actually lost a game yet, what's unreal. Um, I think we've actually got them in this episode, so that'll probably be the last game we play in this episode. Just have a quick look at what we've got left coming up. No, we don't have Liverpool. We've got Liverpool in February. So we already played them. Did we lose against them? I can't remember. Oh, we lost 4-3. I can't I couldn't remember. Oh yeah it was. It was that really angry Darwin Nunes victory. I hated him. <laughs> I hate him still. I am never he's he's honestly one player I just don't like. I just don't like the way he is, but whatever. Um got Burnley Turf more let's get through this one. Got a couple games we've got to simulate in a row. And we do win. Wow. Yates uh, with a brace. And Edwards. Wow. Reed gets a red card. What's well, not great. Um, so that means Thompson's going to have to come in for that game. Or Lions. Whichever one the game decides to put in. Okay. So last game is against Hibernian. In the. In Europa, you guys. Uh, so we're going to simulate this one. I don't think it really matters because we're, we're already through. And we've actually, there you go, we've got, we won 3 0. Perveda, uh, who got on, and Branco again. That's back to back games. He's actually popped up and scored. So he's someone I'm definitely going to keep an eye on. Okay, so first game we've got to play is the Manchester United one. <coughs> so our old player, Rogers, is still in there. We're going to simulate. Again, these games are a little bit weird to predict. Oh my god, we win! Yates and Edwards gets us the goals. We have got the better of Man United again. That's back-to-back -back games we have beaten them. And we stay above them. Wow. This team is shocking me this season. It really, really is. Uh, a little bit of movement. Let's simulate this game against Wolves. Not sure what to expect. To draw. K. Jorge actually scored. So I, actually, I did start him, so... Um, Hanchi and Chiquino for them. Banner Gittins again with another goal. Again, 
we're not losing. That's the thing. I don't think we've actually lost since that first month of the season. What I'm really happy about. Uh, we have been doing brilliantly. Look at that. We are a whole like 10 points ahead of Chelsea at this point. Gonna play with my second, with my first team. What can we get? Oh, we do lose. I mean, to be honest, it could have been 3 1. Uh, I, I don't know why. I, I thought we could have just got that. It seemed we beat Man United, but that is a defeat. Uh, we're back to. We need to get back into winning ways against City. Yates does get a, a consolation, but Havertz and then Gakia, interestingly enough, gets the other one. So. Okay, so Man City, who are two points ahead of us. This is a chance to go back above them. Uh, we have had a bit of a setback with the game against Chelsea, but best place to get back onto winning ways is definitely against City if we can. You just look at our team, it's such it's just a powerhouse. Look at that. They haven't got one bad player in that team. Like, you probably say Pavard, but even Pavard's a, a World Cup winning right back. I mean, he's probably not the best right back we could have. I mean, we probably would still have someone else there, but like, you look at that, Concalves, who's like at this point will be a really good right winger. McKenney who's like a one he's still got loads of potential. Phillips is he's like mid eighties still. Like it's probably a weaker side than we usually have. Like we haven't got De Bruyne probably on the bench. But I do feel like we've got a good chance here. We've beaten bigger teams or well, beaten big teams already this season. Can we do it again? Let's find out. Here we go guys, last game of the episode. It's gonna get into Man City. This could be massive, let's go. Kamavinga. Edwards, Edwards is there. He's took it off Yates, and Edwards! Edison with a save. Ah, Edwards, close. Magui, ah. Oh. That's scored in a couple of games. By Gittin! Oh, ho, ho, ho! what a goal by Beno! What a goal! What a finish! Ho, ho, ho! Nice to know he has that in his locker. On his right foot, curls it into the top bins. Unreal finish, because it had to be to beat Edison. Look at that. Just a touch to get it out of his feet and bang! That is possibly just as top bins as you could possibly get. Look at how that curled. That is postage stamp football. His 10th goal as well. Oh, let's go. What a start for us. What a block by Gay. He has just saved the goal there. Definitely from Haaland who's going in. Oh. Oh, I thought Angel Gomez was going to get to that. Great play with another good save. And McKinney is going to absolutely throttle that one into the roof of the net. Haaland who just opens that space up and then it's Phillips went that's just a one two and he smashed it Raya maybe could have done better but I'm not going to rag him too much for it make sure he gets him for hard oh Angel Gomez he's through he's going to give us the lead back before half time Angel Gomez, the former Manchester United player, puts us up against City. Let's go. Great stuff there from Yates, just holding it up. And then it's a good turn of pace there to get past Diaz. Diaz is a great defender, but what he doesn't have is that much pace. Come on, Gomez. Ooh. Diaz had to get to that. Oh, 
forward and managed to get away. Great way to tag him back. Matt Gay does well there. And Singo does really well to get that ball past. And now Edwards. He's gone past Diaz again. Oh, and Edwards! He's put it past Edison! And we've doubled our lead against Man City! Who would have thought? Marcus Edwards again! Diaz can't keep up with his pace! Look at that, he's got Edwards. I mean, it looks like he's got to put out on a plate for Yates, but no. He had the confidence and he had the whereabouts to put that curling it past Edison. No chance for the Brazilian goalkeeper. Let's go. 3 1, lads. Let's go. Onana does really well defensively. Can't get it to a person in your orange oak. That's what we did want. We didn't want the ball getting to Haaland in the box, and it did. And look at what he causes. Bowling again with that little intricate play. It's Phillips again with that little ball inside. And Bowling with a no look pass. And they're down it to one. Great play deals with Haaland, but he can't deal with. Harland is with uh, Foden. Singo, great little hook out there. Barrow Gittins! Oh, I don't know if Barrow Gittins actually got to that. They've been bringing off Phillips, but I don't know why. He's actually been one of our best midfielders. Coming onto the pitch, number five, Andreas Christensen. There we go! We have just about beaten City again. We needed that. We have just beaten the former champions. Or the current champions, shall I say. That is what we need. Ladies and gents, Blackpool are in the title race. They are. We are in the top four race. Not only that, we are cementing it right now with this form. Well in, lads proud of you so much let's go so we are in a new year of 2026 so we've got a couple of players going out on loan like Chandler De, De Calvario Taylor's going out on loan Carey's going out on loan uh, Lyons has actually gone full-time two months per year just got a couple million for him so let's have a quick look at the table after that game so at the minute we are still sitting second and actually we have got a game in hand so that'll put us sorry I don't know why I did that um, we are level with Man City but we have still got a game in hand um, that will put us I think it's 9 points behind them I think but again I just don't it looks like Liverpool are just been, they've literally gone half a season unbeaten and not only that, they've got very limited draws out of that as well. 16 wins out of 20. How are we meant to compete with that? Obviously, if we beat them, it, it comes a different story. But as you look there, we are five points ahead of, of Chelsea. But then again, we've still got a game in hand, so we could make our eight. So we've got a long way to go. But I'm happy with the way we are. Um, I don't know if the Europa League round has done, been done yeah it's a prelim uh, preliminary rounds first we we go through to the next round automatically I I don't know what that that why that is oh I think um, second look at that we absolutely dominated our group so preliminary rounds obviously for the second place to go through and we basically automatically go through to next it's either a round of 32 or a round of 16 I can't remember I think it's around 32 uh, but we'll find out probably in the next episode because uh, again we'll be doing we'll be getting out on the entire transfer window in the next episode as well as probably get through February as well. So probably I'll be honest, we've probably got about another two three episodes of this season. I've, I kind of like the fact that we can get through this every season like within like four or five episodes. Um, I hope you're enjoying it as well because it's a lot of stuff crammed into one episode. It might be slightly longer than usual, like we might be going towards the. 
30 to, 30 to 40 minute mark anyway. That's, but the fact is, you're getting a lot more in it. You're getting a lot more in the season. So it doesn't feel like you got filler episodes or anything like that. I hate using that word, filler episode. But um, I just want it all, every episode to be jam packed full of, in, of entertainment for you guys. So, and at the minute. I'll just show you what we've got for finances. So we've got 20 million in the budget. So we could do something. We could go out and sign someone. I don't know where we'd go and do that. I'd probably say next year when we're in the Champions League, if we're in the Champions League, it's still a question. Um, probably the goalkeeper's kind of pre probably somewhere. If Reed doesn't grow that much, it's it's sort of annoying this because Reed's actually really good as a left back and I love him as a right back as a left back he really really does well but he's just not growing a hell of a lot and that's sort of the disappointing thing like he's only halfway towards 76 he's 20 years of age I don't know how he's not growing faster I just don't I like, look at how many weeks it's taking just to get to to that I don't know how he feels so much better than he actually is that's why I'm not in a big rush but obviously if it doesn't get much better probably I'm gonna to have to maybe sell I don't have to sell Thompson but maybe keep him as a third choice but um, most likely go out and get another left back but I'm, I, I'm, I'll be honest Rory Reed is probably gonna be the last person I upgrade because he's actually so so good and he is someone who I have no problems with keeping when you look at his, his stats like He's really good. His tackling's good. He, I don't know why. It's like these stats are lying of what he is. He's so much better than these stats are saying. But obviously, we've got Raya who's 30. Maybe that's somewhere we could upgrade in eventually. But again, 30 year old for a goalkeeper is not anything bad. But again, maybe. Maybe we'll go out and get someone else. Um, Braithwaite, but he's growing nicely. He's already gone up by another overall this season. I'm not in a big hurry to upgrade him. Um, I'm quite happy with everyone I've got, I'll be honest. I'm not too fussed. Um, oh, there you go. We can change our nine to natural centre mid, what's nice. So, get his passing stats up. and then, But he's been pretty good since he's coming as well. I've got some nice players coming through, and I want to focus on them more than all else. I've got loads of people out on loan. I don't have a big issue with giving them chances when they come back. It's a bit of a difficult one right now of who we if we if or if we do bring anyone in. <coughs> Maybe we can bring in someone in the midfield, possibly. But I don't know. Let me know down below if there's anyone you'd like me to bring in. If there's anyone who tickles your fancy, if you want to see anyone in a blackpool shirt. Um let me know. Uh but Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. It helps out. Uh, help. I want to get to that 1K at some point this year. I really do. By by next year, I really want to get to that uh, 1,000 subscriber mark. So help me out. And and I'd appreciate it forever, honestly. Uh, and I want to keep creating this content for you guys. Um, I've been throwing out a lot of content recently. Been putting a lot of effort and time into it, so please go check it out. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, leave any comments down below, any plays you'd like to bring in, any teams you'd like me to do in the future, any comment. Um, make sure it's a nice comment. Um, any nice criticism I'll take, but let's all be nice. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.